Using a plastic prying tool, gently lever out the door panel trim piece, green arrow. Start prying at the edge, green arrow, and work your way towards the interior of the car, gently levering the trim piece off the door panel. Next, remove the three T20 torque fasteners from the door panel as indicated by the green arrows. Next, using a plastic prying tool, gently lever out the door handle trim piece. Then, remove the four T20 torque fasteners from the door panel as indicated by the green arrows. You may have already removed the three along the strip. If not, do so now. Using a door panel clip tool, release the door panel clips. I like to start at the lower corner, then work my way around the door panel, releasing all the other clips. Once the door panel clips have been disconnected, pull the top of the door panel straight off the windowsill clips. Once the bottom clips have been disconnected, detach the upper clips. Pull the door panel back enough to access the speaker electrical connector, then disconnect by pulling it straight off. Next, unclip and release the cable from the door handle by releasing the tab and pulling it out. Disconnect the power window switch electrical connector by pressing the release tab and opening the lever. Then disconnect the entrance light electrical connector at the bottom of the door. Once all electrical connectors have been disconnected and detached from the door panel, you are free to remove the door panel. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.